Let's do the introductions. Uh, Chantel might appear anytime uh, between now and the end of part one of who is DLF. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to split this conversation into two parts, most likely. And we'll do the next part later today. Uh, there's a lot of questions. I really don't know that much about DLF, so I'm learning I have been watching a lot of videos about him. Uh, uh, there's a lot of stuff about Dragon Lord Frodo on the internet, to be honest with you. He's actually not new. He's been around for a very, very long time. He lives in Buffalo, New York. And he does find Foodie Beauty fairly attractive. I do believe they've been in conversation with each other he's even alluded to that he said that he has been talking to foodie beauty so purple drunk yoshi welcome back hello ashley lynn smith sodiums snezana bodega cat dax scamper's mom jen uncensored killer kowalski amy joe matea salanum laxum hello there miss lynn la 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 army wife buddha erty clone one Natural Ginger, welcome back. Pamela, Too Many Sodiums, Genevieve, Dax, Samantha, Apex Progeny, Living, Laughing, and Crafting. And everybody else in the chat, Jen Uncensored, Shears, Not Dead, Chubby Shadow, Liss, Sweet Sea Monster, Cosmic, Katie. Smash that like button, folks, as soon as you get in. 
Kelly, hey there, Sun Q, Golden Girl. Did I say hello to you, Alex B? If not, well, hello. Uh, Bet Davidson, Swish, Golden Girl. Everybody else coming in. Thank you for being here, Julie D. Welcome, 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 folks. Let me do a few things behind the scene before we get started. I'm going to share my screen soon, but I need to do a few things always after and before a live stream in my control panel. Because, oh boy, okay. Good thing I remember to do that. Yikes. All right. All right. I think I need to do this as well. I got to customize. I got to slow the chat down. I got to tell people as well that I am doing this stream. So let me do that right now. And we're going to get started in a quick minute. Uh, this live stream part one will be the first half of the conversation between Mama Scrunch. Mama Scrunch is Michael's mother. And you can tell by her language, the choice of words, you know, her adjectives, her, her, her verbiage, so to speak, uh, that she is kind of fed up and she's kind of accustomed to this type of conversation with in word photo, so to speak. So we will be hearing a lot about that and we will get into it right now. So let me share my screen and get started, folks. This is actually from 2019, if you don't know. That's rather old, but I think this is a good entry point for a lot of people because it kind of gives you an idea of the relationship that he has with, you know, his mother. did pass that drug test. Hey, Debbie. Okay. Now, another problem is, is that they're not even hiring for the shift that I wanted. What, hi, what shift are I they hiring for? Second and third. Hey, Kelly. Oh. Which means, which means second's out of the question. Hey, I'm Big B. Mm -hmm. And third, I'm not working overnight. I read sequins. Okay, so if you're not from the States, if you don't know what uh, first, second, and third shift means, typically it means second shift is evening and third shift is night shift, a.k.a. the graveyard shift. So first shift would be days. Okay, how come? Because I don't work overnight. Hey, heart spun candy. Take a breath, okay. I don't care. I don't care if I work the casino overnight. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that I have to do it all my life now. Okay, take your breath. What are you getting in my face about? Because I know what you're thinking. I know what you and Mark are thinking. I don't think you know anything, Michael. Hi, Irene. I haven't, I haven't had a job since October, okay? Uh huh. So I don't know what to do. There are no jobs in Buffalo. He is in his late thirties. If you want to know Buddha. Well, why don't you want to do the? Why don't you? Why don't you want to do the second? Is it because of the um, the transportation? Yeah. Why are you yelling at me? Because I know what you and Mark are thinking. You don't know shit, Michael. I know Mark thinks I'm this lazy piece of shit, but I'm not. Hi, my why are you yelling at me? Because I, I just told you why. Because I know what you and Mark are thinking. Then why do you bother to call me? 
He is talking to his mother, yes, aka Mama Scrunch. That is Mama Scrunch, aka DLF's mom, on the phone with him right now. Because I have to discuss this. I gotta make sure that you and Mark are thinking. Okay. 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 Because I worked there, I worked at the casino overnight. Doesn't mean that I liked work in the casino overnight. I hated working overnight. I understand. I understand. Okay. So I don't want to hear you or Mark say, why don't you just work overnight because you did it before. I didn't say that at all. But you're thinking it. Hey, Nancy. No, not really. I know because of the, I know because of the transportation issue. Yeah, and that transportation I mean, how, issue is your Why fault. are you screaming at me? The transportation issue is your fault. Uh, yes, it is, Chatty Cathy. It is the same guy. There's a lot of videos about him. There's videos where he's um, showed his green poo in the toilet and was, like, showing. And then he would put his fingers in between his ass cheeks and then show that on camera. Uh, a lot of this stuff is actually being lost on the internet because he has been removed on many platforms over the past few years. So some people have the videos and most of it has been lost. So yeah, there's a lot to this guy. Slow down, folks. We're going to get into it. Let's just continue. We'll talk about it. Let's get this. This is the best starting point for the introduction, folks. There's a lot to him. <laughs> oh, I'd love to hear this one. Tell me, because, please. Because, because you had to watch Cold Turkey. <laughs> You're funny, okay. Oh, by the way, Cold Turkey is a movie. I think it's from the 70s. Yeah, 1971. Cold Turkey movie. It is a satirical... Uh, <laughs> it is a satire. I'm having a Freudian slip all day, folks. It's a comedy satire from 1971, and Mama Scrunch seems to have been watching Cold Turkey, and it pissed Dragon Lord Frodo off because I guess he needed a, a ride or something. A time machine, I'd go back and just and just kill the people that made that movie. Omg. Okay. What? <laughs> You're funny. Okay. If I had time machine, I'd go back and just and just kill the people that made that movie. Okay. <laughs> They're probably dead okay. Anyway. The people that made that movie are already dead, probably anyway. Right, probably. But, you know, you take that movie, and, and now my whole life is based on it. Hey. So, you know. Not really, Michael, but okay. So, so because I, could, I can't drive, because you had to watch Cold Turkey. Not really. You know. Oh, so you're not you're not going around saying I shouldn't drive because you watch cold turkey. Hey, great. No, people. I'm saying that you shouldn't drive because what's going to happen if you get a bee inside the car? Who cares about bees? You do because you you oh that's so you're so full of shit that you've actually videotaped three times you flipping out. Yeah. When did I do that? Corey Coconut, hello. Is he in jail? No, he was last arrested for harassment in 2020. I think the case is still ongoing. I believe he had to go to court um, in terms of the proceedings either yesterday or the day before. It was the day that Buffalo had a, um, a rather significant snowstorm and he was pissed because he didn't want to take the bus to go to court. I believe it's the incident in question is between the two ladies in Lockport uh, that complained against him. So, um, yeah, uh, it's still ongoing. He's been to jail several times for several different issues. When you put it on your blog or whatever. Oh, the bee guy in my apartment, yeah. 
Yeah, when it got in your apartment, when you were dumpster diving, let me finish. When you were dumpster diving, and then there was, and then the other time when you almost put yourself through a bus shelter. When was that? Next question. It was on one of your blogs. I put myself through a bus shelter. What does that I didn't mean? say that. I said you almost did. What does that mean? That means that you were at a bus, you were at a bus shelter, and a, there were bees in there, and you freaked out, and you filmed it. You put it on YouTube, so. Who cares? Besides, there weren't bees. They weren't bees. Okay. They were yellow jackets. Everybody, Same difference. Every, every, no, everybody freaks out at yellow jackets, okay? I don't. Yeah, well, when they're chasing you down the street, then you might freak out. I don't have the, I don't have them chasing you down the street. I still don't understand why you're screaming at me. Because you you based my entire life on this. Cold Hold on a second. Are you are you are you live streaming? No. Hold on. Okay. Somebody's calling me. Mm-hmm. Hello? Hello? Okay. Hi, this is Gary calling from Citigroup. You called about making a fingerprint appointment? Um, yeah, I don't know if I can do that now because of the scheduling. Hello? Yes. All right. So oh, boy. That was, that was the thing, trying to get my fingerprint. But I can't work that job because of the scheduling. So then don't take the, just tell them that um, you don't have transportation. Oh and that God. If, I, if you didn't watch Cold Turkey, I'd have transportation. I'm going to hang up on you very soon. You don't you, take you don't responsibility. Fuck out, shut the fuck up. You don't take Excuse me? I said you don't take responsibility for your actions. Oh, and you do? I do, yeah. No, you don't. I do. No, and my I don't actions, think so. Yeah, I do. Okay? Yeah, I when don't I, think so. When I was 16, this should have been taken care of when I was 16. Listen, it wasn't. I, uh, I offered you to go to driving school. No. You didn't want to go. No. Why don't you, you no, know, you have to teach me. Why do I have to teach you? Because that's what parents do, okay? Well, no, they don't. That's if they, if they, listen, if they don't have time or they don't have the patience to do it, they send their kids to driving school. All right, so Mama Scrunch, I don't know, I kind of, he kind of does have a point here, right? If, if he is not a mature, you know, individual, he's growing up, I can kind of see the responsibility on his parents to maybe help him as much as possible so that he is um, prepared for the world once he leaves the home. But apparently, I guess Michael did not get his driver's license, so he has to take the bus, and he doesn't want to do second or third shift because the place is far out there. And if he's doing second or third shift, he won't be able to go home. There's a transportation issue because of the bus routes and scheduling. So this is what the phone call is about. The movie, once again, is Cold Turkey. It is a comedy from 1971. Plus you get extra points when you go to driving school. You get extra points on your driver's uh, Hi there, what that mean? exam. What does that mean? Instead of you getting an 85 on a driver's exam, maybe you would get a 95. Who you get cares? extra points. Who cares as long as it's 65? Obviously you do. Who cares if 65 passing? I don't know what you're passing this. It was 65. Like I said, I don't know this. I do. Okay. Do you want to get your point here? I want to get to my point that, you know, you get to take all these extravagant vacations. Okay? Oh, Shanna, uh -huh. he did. I, and I get to live in a dump. He recorded it. It's not my fault. It's not my, 
not your fault? How's it how's it not your fault? That's not my fault. You know, that is absolutely not my fault. You have to live in, a, in, 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 the, in the dump of, of Buffalo. Um, we like it. Like so, what? Just because you don't like it doesn't mean anything to me. Well, you know, you get to take all these extravagant vac- vacations, and, and I get. What's that. your point? What's their point? The point is, is that you know, I can, there is no work in Buffalo. This isn't, just, you know, this isn't just, this isn't just a. Uh, You're limiting <clears throat> yourself. What? Yes, Desi. You're limiting yourself. I told you the, what you could do. I told you try to uh, try to apply for a, a bus aid job. They pay fifteen bucks an hour. I tried a bus aid job. They didn't hire me for that either. Okay. They they didn't they won't they, hire me for that. Why not? Did they say why? I don't know. They said they wouldn't hire me. You know, they don't give a reason. I I I applied for a, a bunch of bus aid stuff. They didn't hire me. And this is my fault. It is because because you couldn't you, you had to watch cold turkey. Oh, you're a moron. Well, you got well. It, it, that is the root of my problem, right? Yeah, Michael. Please. Hi, Caroline. Cause, cause, cause that, that's what you said. That's what you said. You don't want me to drive it to the full turkey. Michael, that is not, that is not what I said. I told you that, let's see if I move that, that drive, that, that, um, that movie was not meant for you not to drive. That movie was to describe how you have, um, you don't have control over, um, you're, you're very impulsive. It's, Mom. It's it, a, it never had anything to do with you driving. It's, Mom, it's a comedy movie. Michael? Okay. It yeah. just explained how you were impulsive. That's all that did. It's a so, comedy. You're getting ideas. What's your point? You're getting ideas from the TV and the movie. That's right. So what's your point? When that, whenever I go into one of your psychiatrists, guess what the one, the first thing that they ask me? What's that? Okay, the second thing, maybe. First thing is, do you hear voices? No. Do you get information? Do you get you? Do you feel that the the TV is is giving you ideas? No. But it, it seems like okay. you get ideas from TV. No, Michael, you're completely, I don't know how you've done it, but you've completely gotten this one wrong. Recipes, Ricky says he seems like he needs mental help. Also, doesn't seem like he can really interact with society. Exactly. That is my point here. Um, He's not interacting normally with society as one would expect within a range of normalcy. And he does need mental help. I do think so because if if you're going to get arrested for threatening to break into somebody's home to pet their cat, you have issues. You you seriously got arrested for threatening to break into somebody's home to pet their cat. What? You know? I'm just saying... You're screaming at me because you're a moron. Is that what you're telling me? What? That you are misunderstanding what that whole thing was about, and you're screaming at me because you misunderstood. Why'd you keep bringing it up? I didn't bring it up. You brought it up. You I know, I, you. I I don't think you I don't think you bet on me going and watching that movie. I could care less about that movie. I wish they never made it now, because every time I hear it from you, I want to choke myself. Yeah, so do I. (laughs) Okay? It's a comedy. It's no no different than the Naked Gun movies. It's no different than Scary Movie. What's your point? 
This conversation is from 2019. This is a conversation between Michael Dragon Lord Frodo and his mom, Mama Scrunch. Because I don't think those movies, I don't think those movies are real. But do you have a point? Because so get to it because I'm I'm you're you're wearing me thin right now. Listen, I, I, I'm I just, I'm crazy because I haven't gotten a job in, since October. Well, that is not my fault. It kind of is a little bit. No, it isn't. If you would take responsibility for your own actions, then... I'm, I'm over there, I'm looking, and that's the other thing. I can't just look every single day for a job. Why? What do you got to do this? So important. It's not, it's nothing to do with what I have to do. It's just that there's so little jobs I, I'm actually applying for, like, the same job, like, every day. Right? Kristen N. Scrunch is not really his last name. He does have an Italian last name. Um, they do claim to be Italians, but the, the conversation actually gets wilder. This is why we're doing the introduction. If you think this is something... This is tame compared to where the conversation is going to lead to. Some of the later later on in this conversation is going to be somewhat sexual and really weird with all types of wild claims coming out. <laughs> so there is really no point of me going on there. So looking did you get your job coach back? What? Did you get your job coach back? No, she's you. Sure, yeah. Ashley. Okay. Did you get your services back? I guess that would be the question. I don't know. I went for my fair, my quote unquote fair hearing. And I say that because, you know, they say it's fair, but it's. Uh, a Dragon Lord did originally upload this. His channel got deleted, I believe. So this conversation is on another channel. Chatty Cathy says, I don't think I got to say Happy New Year. I wish you more success this year than the last. Thank you so much, Chatty Cathy. It's not really fair. It's just, it's just, I have uh, a zoo. It's just smoke and mirrors to make you feel like, like they're doing something. I went for that yesterday. Oh, okay. So hopefully I do get, I, I do get a, a bus pass out of it. And what did they, and what did you tell them when you went for your surgery? I, I told, I told him, listen, you can't be, this is the federal government, you can't be, uh, you can't tell me I can't, I have to go to counseling because, you know, that certain, certain religious groups are against, uh, counseling. Oh, great. So you blew it, huh? What do you mean? Why didn't you just stick with the fact that they were, they were basing it on the fact that you, um, that you had the FBI check it on you. Well, you could have won. But no, instead you got to make up some bullshit. What do you mean? They can um, yes, folks, he does, or probably still is, having the FBI check on him because of a lot of claims, talking about certain things he wants to be done to Justin Trudeau. A lot of stuff is going on, folks. A lot of stuff. This is once again from 2019, and I think the FBI still has a file on him. But no, instead you gotta make up some bullshit. What do you mean? They can't be. Yes, hey, that's, that's offensive to people. They have a file on hey, him. Hey, you're not a Scientologist. So shut up. Who said I was? You're not. Who said I was? You did. Or I could be a born again Christian too. No, no, Mordecai Christians go to therapy. Or a Quaker, okay? Or a what? A Quaker. You're not a Quaker, Michael, please. You, why can't you just tell the truth? I, I do. No. But it's like... That's hardly the truth. And yet you're still calling and yelling at me for some reason. Because because I just want a job, okay? Okay. I feel like I'm just... Michael, listen. When I needed a job, I did whatever I had to do. Which was what? I, I used to clean a church at one point. I'm not doing cleaning jobs. I'm telling you that I did whatever I had to do. I'm not, I'm not just, some, I'm not a whore, okay? Uh, why are you calling me a whore? 
I said, I'm not a whore. Why would you say that you're not? Why Why are you? Oh, my God. You're, how like, do you live with that mind? Honest to God. What were you going to ask me about? How do you live with all that shit in your head? What I mean by that is I'm not going to take some job because I'm desperate for money. Okay. Okay. Then shut up about it. But it's like I just I want like some kind of data entry job or something. Okay. I don't so want to be bleeding. Listen to me. Where I get where I get Listen to me, idiot. Are you you're not listening to me? So let me know when go on when, when it's okay. Go on. Oh. Make then make it work for the other position. Hi, Valerie. What do you mean? Figure out a way to get. You told me that. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm yelling at you for no reason. Okay. Um. What is this here? Okay. Um. All they have is the afternoon. Yeah. And the night, right? Yeah. Okay. So then make the afternoon work. I can't. Why not? Because the bus doesn't. The bus doesn't leave. The, the bus doesn't run. No idea, place. Ashley. Okay, but I thought you said that by you living where you are now. Hey. Yeah, for the day shift, for the first shift. All right. Because everything well, is everything. You gotta is, figure something out, Michael. I can't help you on this. You gotta figure it out. I can't. I can't. I can't do this. They they well, they then, purpose yo yo yo. They purposely put these jobs out in the middle of nowhere. No, they don't. Because so that they don't so that so that black Michael, people can't. You're an idiot. Well, that's what it said on the news. You're an idiot. You want to call up the news and, and say that they're wrong? Uh-huh. Okay, then do that. But I'm just saying what, what I read. By the way, news. did you see that you guys got shot on uh, Zalma? No, I didn't. Such a good, such a good area. Yeah, but it's better than Love Joy. Doesn't and, matter. Anyway, no. Who cares? You don't get to talk about that neighborhood like that. Did you live in Lovejoy? All right. Oh, Lovejoy's the worst neighborhood in, in All right, America. so get over it. What is your point? Did, you, did, I tell, did I tell you that when I was in jail about a week ago, I was in jail with, uh, they, I, I, was, I was being arraigned with like, like, th like five people that, that did some, that, that were shooting guns off at Juneteenth. So? I don't know. I'm just saying. One guy, the guy, one guy was was charged with running over a cop. Yeah, I know. You heard about that? Yes, Red Sequence. Mm -hmm. I was on. I, I I was in there with those with those homies. Okay, those are your those are your people. Okay. <laughs> those are my homies. Okay, get to the point. No, I'm just saying. I, I that, that that that's the kind of people. I mean, I go I go to jail with you know you shouldn't be in jail anyhow that's besides the point i know i shouldn't my uh the latest arrest was politically motivated uh-huh it was i don't know michael <laughs> i don't get i don't get involved in it it, it was I'm a, I was a political prisoner, okay? No, you weren't, Michael. But anyway, I'm just trying to find a job, mm -hmm. and I can't find a job. There's nothing. Okay. There's nothing in Buffalo that I can do. Well, I don't think you're looking hard enough. <laughs> I've been looking for almost nine months. Okay. I've been, I've where are you looking? 
I'm looking. I'm looking all over the internet. Did you put a resume? Did you put a resume on Indeed or anything like that? That's right. That's what I use. I use Indeed. I use uh, WNY Jobs. Natural Ginger, I wonder if Foodie Beauty snaps him saucy pics because there's a reason he's coming at FFG hard. I think it is motivated. Remember yesterday, allegedly Foodie Beauty was in his chat saying all sorts of stuff. So we'll have to see. But folks, if you think this is good, it gets better. What's the other one I use? Did you... Craigslist, I won't, um, I won't do Craigslist because that's a lot of weird no, stuff. No, you don't go on there. That's not, that's not a, did you go to Monster? Mon, no, I didn't go to Monster because I don't, don't you have to pay for that or something? Nope. Okay. He does have a channel, yes. I know one of them you have to pay for. And then, uh, and then it's like it's like I know I know what you and Mark are thinking too. Mark isn't thinking anything because we don't care. This is the guy that has been threatening FFG with a knife yesterday in his live stream yesterday morning. This is the guy that takes pictures of lots of um, blades. He's even taking pictures with machetes with a face like he's in full on rage mode. He's toppled over tables. He's been getting pissed off. He's been arrested multiple occasions. I know. I, I know what you're saying. Watches go door to door like I used to do back when Jimmy oh Carter was president. Don't, they don't do that. You're an idiot. Back when, you know, that might, that might have worked when Jimmy Carter was president. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But now you do that, they'll just say Yes, Chrissy, oh, this is the guy website or something. I used to go and look in the newspaper. That's where I used to go. Yeah. Yeah, but you gotta That's remember jobs. you gotta remember the only jobs in Buffalo are either you know, nursing or like hospital stuff or okay. truck, truck driver. Why can't you work in a hospital? Because because I don't like hospitals. Okay. Because because they're 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 uh they're places that you know exactly zero I, regrets. I feel uh, not morally. It's not morally acceptable for me. But I think the threatening is very um, specific to who he feels comfortable in threatening. As in, there's just certain individuals he would not want to threaten because there is a serious chance that he might himself get hurt. Okay, then you are limiting yourself then. Yeah, but you wouldn't say that if I wanted, I, I just wanted a, a, a cleaning job. If I, if I said, that's oh, I only a, want cleaning jobs. That's not what I said. Yeah, but you would say that if that's what I said. Oh, I only want a cleaning job. You'd be praising me for it. And Mark would be too. Listen, I don't care if you wipe the jizz off of a off of a a, a nudie booth. <laughs> well, I could go to New York okay. City and do that job. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you... You know when I went to New York City... I don't care if you pick corn out of people's shit. You know when I went to New York City... If you're happy... I don't care, Michael. If you're happy at what you're doing, I don't give a shit what you do. I I hit the booths in New York City. So have I. Have you? (laughs) Did you really? Yeah. Why? Because I wanted to see what it was like. So, well, oh, th- well, you weren't the one that was doing the dancing. I doubt it. What well, what well, what'd you do when you didn't you didn't you didn't play with yourself in there, Michael? I did. We're not talking about this. I don't want to know about it. <laughs> I'm like Sal the stockbroker. I don't want to know about it. I just want to know what do you expect me to do. I guess that's my my point. What is your point of this phone call? Listen, I just... Your negativity is pissing me off. 
and I, I, you're, I'm, you're about a half an inch away from getting on a I'm, I'm, okay. I'm just, I'm just fat off, and I'm vent. I understand that. You don't want me to do. I totally get it. You don't want me to do videos. Well, then we need an alternative to the videos. Get a job like normal people. I I tried. For, see, for, there's, see, there's jobs at the library. See, see there's there, what? See, there's, go to the library and see if there's a job at the library. Look on the civil service exams. I I I tried a job at the library. They didn't hire me there either. I'm telling you, I'm going for all these jobs. You don't. So you and Mark think that I'm, I'm like this lazy, you know, piece of shit that just sits around and, and, and plays video games and eats and jerks off all day. You, God. you realize that I'm going on interviews. I'm trying to get a job. You Marie, I found this by coincidence, but this is a very good entry point for everybody who doesn't know who. Dragon Lord Frodo is. You do realize that, right? I'm not Scott. Sure. I'm not Scott, okay? Okay. I don't just sit around and 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 and, and eat and and play video games and smoke weed and and do all this other stuff and jerk off all day. I'm trying to get a job. I know you make videos too. I, I, yeah, I do that too, but whatever. You can't just be looking for a job all all day and night. And it doesn't have anything, it has nothing to do with, well, what else do you have to do? No, it has to do with, there's, you, you know, you can't just, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Just sit there and apply for the same job over and over and over and over again? That's not going to do anything either. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I don't know why you you and Mark thinks I'm like I'm like this lazy person. How is he connected to Chantel? But Chantel and him seems to have a conversation outside of YouTube. I don't know how or where what platform they're having this conversation on. He has alluded to him having he can easily message or talk to her. But I do know that he's made, as of yesterday, a reaction to FFG. And it's actually in very poor taste. It's actually very threatening, very scary. He's he's alluded to um, not even hurting, but often our prime minister, the prime minister of Canada. I'm like, bro, not only will that get your channel removed, but you could seriously get arrested because that sort of stuff doesn't fly anywhere. Like you make threats like that, you get locked up. But he was doing the threats. He was brandishing the knife and all not. So it's only a matter of time. I'm surprised his channel is up and running today because he has had multiple channels before. And it seems like they'll, they'll get it deleted. Then he'll come back. It gets deleted. Then he'll come back. Kimberly Ann. The fact that he threatened somebody with a knife live and Nader and Chantel have doxxed FFG. That's scary. He is unstable. I hope she reported him to the Popo. Yes, Kimberly Ann, but he, the likelihood of him being able to come over the border is extremely, extremely low. He's had multiple offenses and it's been less than five years. There's no way in hell he's coming over into Canada. Reverend Blue Jeans. Hello, Frodo Beauty. <laughs> OMG. I never said that. Mark, uh, you, you, you probably... You, I don't know. When is the last time you talked to Mark? Yeah, she is, Luna. I don't know. Well, then you don't know what he thinks. I, listen, I don't mark like the back of my hand, okay? You don't know shit. I, I know how he acts. I know, I know. I probably know Mark better than he knows himself. I doubt it. Seriously, though. I mean, you think I'm, I'm with my autism and all that? 
You think I'm just unaware? No, I'm very aware of my surroundings. Okay, what's your point, the Michael? The point is, is that I just don't, I just don't express that. And I've learned throughout the years to not express it. Yes, this guy is in Buffalo, New York. You're right, Chetty Cappy. Because I don't want to be called Karen, okay? I have no idea where this is all coming from. Well, you know how Karen knows everything from like 50 years ago? Uh -huh. I don't like being called Karen. So like, I notice stuff. I notice more than you think. I just don't like, to, right. I just don't like to bring it up. You're going to be like, okay, Karen, knowing everything from 20 years ago. Okay. This is not Karate Joe, folks. Karate Joe is Joseph W. He does not look anything uh, close to the image on your screen. This is a completely different person. Hey, whatever. What is your point? My point you have to make a point in this whole 15 minutes. Nearly two hours, I am. I'm Kathy. trying to make a point that there's no work in Buffalo. There is none. I've probably done all the jobs that there is in Buffalo. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That I can do. See, let's see here. Even, let's see here. Even if, I, even if I wanted a cleaning job at this point, okay? I couldn't even get a cleaning job. Two hours, Laura C. Because I've worked pretty much all the cleaning jobs. That's not true. I probably it probably is true. You know, folks, all right. we're gonna break this conversation up into uh, two parts. So, folks, it gets wilder as we go along. If you think all the stuff about being in jail, hanging out with the homies. Asking his mom if she did sexual activities in a New York City booth is wild. You haven't heard anything yet. Well, look at the job that you just walked off of. Nothing wrong with that job you had at BJ, so it doesn't affect it was way out. No, it wasn't way out from where I was. Well, well I mean, I mean that was out. that was kind of a mistake. I admit that. That was a huge mistake. It was a mistake, but you know what? I I couldn't I couldn't live my, with my. It does, Kidney Bay. You know, slamming in the cars. I would have been held. Well, up. I didn't know that you were slamming in the cars. Not on purpose. No, you just you just uh, you told everybody something else. Well, it was a comedy. You told everybody that you quit the job because they wanted to use you for their. There was a combination. Or some bullshit. It, was, it was a combination of things. But yeah, you I mean, didn't I was, tell me that you damaged people's cars. It wasn't on, on purpose. It's because because the, that that parking lot's like on a hill, okay? Uh huh. And you know, I was pulling the carts in and out of the parking lots and whatnot, and you know. A couple times I've like I, you know, I lost some of the carts and they went they went down the hill and they hit a car, the parked car. Like I like didn't do any damage, but it hit the car, and I Back didn't tell anyone. So I was afraid that one day I, I was going to hit the car so bad and I would get caught. You know. Uh huh. Wow. That, then I'd be to be arrested or something. Okay. Or somebody's gonna get mad. But you know, I don't know. Was it, that my fault? No, it wasn't. Of course it wasn't. Why do you think it was your fault? Well, you blame me for everything. Not that. But it's like, it's like they, you know, the jobs that I want are too far out for me. 
okay? I understand and, that. And, and it's like, I could have had a job out in East Aurora at the Fisher, Fisher Price place. Sandy Shore is, if you're late, he's talking to his mom, Mama Scrunch, on the phone. The conversation gets a lot wilder than what was. So if you've been here from the start, it gets way wilder, folks. Like, this conversation hasn't even started yet, folks. Hasn't even started yet. We're going to start off with this. Then we're going to get into some other stuff in later videos because I will be covering Dragon Lord Frodo comprehensively from now on. Why can't that be downtown? Well, why can't you why can't you take the initiative to go and uh, you know find a way to get out there? There is no buses that go out there. Well, there are ways to do it. You just gotta figure it There's, out. I, I've already looked into it. There are no buses that go all the way out to East Aurora. Okay. Tell me, is there a bus that goes out to Brian's house? Max there Jenny. isn't. Yes. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. Wow. Then how do you do it? Max Jericho. I don't know, Michael. She's fed I've up. Lo I've looked in the going. Nor do I care. I don't. I don't. I, I've looked in the going there, and it, they don't. They, they, there is no bus. They even You're said that there's no bus. You are an adult. AKB. Yeah, but that's the problem. They, I'm telling you, they put, the, these companies put their their places all the way out in the middle of nowhere for because they don't want black people to apply. Well, the attitude, the attitude is just lovely. What? I, I you know I can't understand why people won't hire you. Your attitude blows. Well, that's the truth. That is not the truth. That's what it said on the news. I don't believe so, Michael. They said, you believe. That's what they said on the news. You believe that Fisher Price opened up a, a place out in East Aurora so that they didn't have to hire black people. Yeah, and also any other jo jobs like that. Oh, Anywhere else that's in the middle of nowhere. That is not it. What? That is not it. Well, why else do they uh, do they go all the way out there when it could have just been downtown? Exactly, Luna. It's so casual, right? <laughs> I really don't know what to tell you. I read that, but you know, you have when it's on the news, it's you know. They're telling the truth, right? When it's on the news? Not necessarily. All right. Actually, living, laughing, and crafting, he thinks he's black, actually. It's going to get better. I'm telling you, folks. He is going to get into and he's going to explain to me, his mother, and everybody else why he is black. Folks, it gets better. But I mean, the thing is, is that it was on the news, and that's where I got it from, okay? So you're saying that the news is lying? Yes, Michael, I'm saying the news is lying. Okay. Let me, let me just put it this way. I really don't care either. I do, because this is my career on the line. Okay? Uh-huh. I, 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 well, when you go into places with, with this shitty attitude, you know, I mean, really. No reason why, you know. They're, they're always trying to keep the black man down, you know what I'm saying? I, you've got about four more minutes, and I'm going to hang up because you're an idiot. Why do you say that? Because you're talking like an idiot. You're not, you're not making any sense whatsoever. I am making sense. Michael, when did you become black? We're all black. Okay. Listen, so the, the word, the name, happen? okay, the name Constantino, okay? That is a, that yes. is an Italian name, right? Yes. It, it sounds Italian at least. 
right? Yes. Can we agree on that? Yes, get your point. Well, the Moors conquered Italy. So that means yes, all, I know. All, all Italians are black. No, the Moors, the were Moors already there. What? There were already people there. The no, because that we're all part black, okay? Because the Italians. So were, what is your point? Were blue eyed and and blonde haired, and then when the no, Moors that was from the northern that was from northern Italy, and then when the when the when the more the Moors were black. They were they were blacker than than you know like the uh, you know African blacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know when when they came when they conquered Italy, they, they we're part black. Okay. What's your point? I, I got brown care. hair and brown eyes. No, your eyes are not brown. Yeah, they are. They're actually blue. But anyway. All right. <laughs> that's that. So no. I'm black. Okay. So go get a, go get a, uh, um, a job. You know, be a black man. Yeah. We're, 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 uh, we're probably, you know, you realize that, that our family is probably, you know, eligible for, like, slave reparations. No, no, no reparations. You, know, you realize, you realize okay, that we two can... two more minutes because you're an idiot. We can say the N-word without being... Really? I'd like to see you do that. Because <laughs> we're... We, uh, you know, does it matter? You've never been hurt. You've never been hit in, uh, in anger. I would love to see your ass beat by somebody that spits off at you. Like who? Wh whoever. What, what, what does that have to do with anything? Because you're, you're speaking like a retard right now. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, you know, I might as well just start calling myself, you know, like Tyrone or something. What? I, I might as well just start calling myself Tyrone. Okay, Tyrone, you do what you gotta do. Or Eugene. <laughs> what? I don't there know. you go. That's, that's perfect. You do what you've got to do. Right. I because mean, you're black. I'm black. Mark's black. Scott's black. Okay. Dad's black. His his okay. parents his parents are are you know are you know what do you call it? Black is coal. You know what I'm saying? Not really, but that's okay. I mean, they're they're light skin black. That's, uh -huh. what, that's what we call it. We're light skin black people. Dragon Lord Tyrone. Okay. Because because according to the one drop rule, you know the what the, the what? what the one drop rule. Thanks, Bodega Cat. And what is that? That's that's like if you have one drop of black blood in you, you're black. Okay. It's like it's like once you, again, do you have a point? Yeah, I do. I'm black. So. So power to the people. Yeah, power to the people. Get off my phone. You realize, like, like Obama, okay, is is uh, they always call him the first black president. Why is that? I don't know, Michael. Even though he's 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 half black and half white, his mother was white. Hey, but they just so say the first point? black president because of the one drop rule. They don't say the first biracial or mixed president, right? Okay. I'm making this a point 
because I, I think I can go with the affirmative action. Amber Smith, you have a point here. When I was listening to this, I'm like, why hasn't his mother hung up the phone on him yet? Like, this woman has endured so much already, but yet she hasn't hung up the phone on this man. Why? Angle. Yeah, you can't. It doesn't even work out like that anymore. So, good luck on that one. But, I mean, so every time they ask you what your race is, just put black. Okay, you do that. Yeah. Well, I'm just tired of this. Uh, I'm tired of, of, of getting turned down for jobs. You know? Well, I, I understand. I'm tired of it. it. Listen, there's people... I don't understand how people live. Late 30s, Jericho. Okay? I don't understand how people live. There's people out there... That you know they can they can get they can get fired from a job and then they have another job like a day later. I don't understand how people do that. Why well, I can do that? I don't. I how how do you do that? I have a career. What do you mean? I can walk in any hospital and get any job I want. How, though? Because I have a degree. I mean, it has nothing to do with degrees. Sure it does. Because I'm not even talking about you. I'm talking about other people, okay? Just, just like anybody, anybody, anybody else that says, you know, oh, yeah, I got fired for my, this job, you know, at McDonald's, and now I have another job two days later. It makes no sense. Well, if I were you, I wouldn't be jealous of other people like that. But I just want to know how they're doing it. The same thing with apartments, too. How is it, how is it that people can, you know, break up with their girlfriend or boyfriend, and then, like, magically, they have another apartment just wind up for them. I don't understand. I don't know if I've ever been in that position. Well, actually, Bodega Cat, you are right. Bodega Cat says, I am willing to bet this is a pretty mild, casual conversation between them. It is, because if you've heard there are other Mama Scrunch conversations between Dragon Lord Frodo, this is tame by comparison, but I wanted you guys to kind of splash your feet around a little bit. We're going to get started with this mild conversation. Yes, folks, this is mild compared to the other shit that we're going to get into. I might have to change my, I might have to put this on my second channel to avoid my channel getting fully demonetized for all the crap that we're going to review with Dragon Lord Photo, folks. Oh, I oh, don't he's, know. I he's don't peeing. know how people can do it, but... You know, when it, but then it takes me like, it takes me almost, you know, five years to get out of love joy. You know, there's a problem here. And I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. He's peeing, folks. That's you a know? Chantalism. It doesn't, it doesn't take somebody five years to get in a house, okay? It doesn't take somebody, you know, almost a year to get another job is what i'm saying and it's getting to that point it's getting to that point where i think the problem is is like when 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 you're out of work employers start there and start asking why have you been out of a job for this long it's a really ridiculous question i wish they would stop ask, asking that uh -huh. Because, because I'm just trying to find a job. I, you know, because then it gets that, like I said, like I said, when I said, I don't want to be a whore, you know, that's what I meant by that. Because at All that right. point, at that point, you're just expected to take any old job that you hate. Hey, Erica. Just so that you can get a job, just so that you could be working. 
and I'm not doing that. I'm not taking no no cleaning job again. Uh huh. Just so that it just so that it so that I don't have a gap in my employment. Uh huh. I've done. I've and Mark wants me to do that because he doesn't want me to be successful. So he does like, actually. He wants to be. He wants to be the. He wants to be the boss of the family. So that's why he's the only one being successful. Uh huh. And the only one that even came close to being successful besides him is Anthony. Damn. And guess what? You said that him and Anthony have a rivalry now. Uh huh. And that's why. Uh no. That is why. No, it's not. Why is it? It is for um the fact that he oh, that Anthony owes Mark money. Anthony probably makes more than Mark. No, he doesn't. As a cop. No, he doesn't. Or at least okay. about the same. You didn't know that? I'm sorry? Cops make a lot of money. Facts Republican, Jen. Okay. He's probably making, like, Mark money. Like, like on the same level. Nope. Whatever. Oh, I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. Well, I don't know. I, I I know Eugene's brother makes more money than Mark. Okay. Uh huh. Clone one. This video is a bit old. It's from uh, just over two years ago when he went to jail. I think the week before he had a conversation with his mother about a lot of things. I think his most recent arrest, was it 2020? He could have had something more recent because he does have a lot of wild escapades happening. It seems he's accustomed to be in and out of jail. Um, there are uh, evidence of his uh, arrest records out in the public. But this is a very good entry point because even though this conversation is wild to you, he... And his mom, Mama Scrunch, actually have way wilder conversations. This conversation is tame. This guy's Dragon Lord Frodo, aka Michael, the guy who has been threatening FFG with harm, as well as the Prime Minister of Canada with harm. And he seems to be talking quite frequently with Foodie Beauty. So there's a lot to this man. He's not new. He has been around for years. It's just that his channels keep getting deleted for what he does, his actions, his mannerisms, and his uh, thought pattern, as well as what he says. Erica, you are my favorite YouTuber, Monty, and this is my favorite community. Well, thank you so much, Erica. I appreciate you. Uh, so, I don't know. He's been, uh, Anthony's been on the force for like 30 years or something like that. Should be making uh -huh. more. I don't know. Yes, Bunny Pop, he is. There's a lot wrong with Mark, I'm telling you that much. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to tell you. So he owes him money, and that's it? Yeah, it's a lot of money. What do you, what do you, what do you borrow money for? To buy a car. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, at least he's not going around buying drugs like Scott. And what is your point? Point is that Scott's worse. Facts, Chatty Cathy. There's no point. That's what I'm thinking, Ashley. Right. I think he does. Because um, his apartment uh, in Buffalo, it's it's... Is decent, but it, it wouldn't be exactly cheap. And he seems to be not working at the moment. Like all his videos are from anytime in the middle of the night, during the day, in the afternoon. There's a lot of stuff coming, um, going on. So 
if I had to make a guess, I would say he is on some sort of assistance. Uh, that exactly, I don't know. We just have to get more into it. I'm learning as much of you guys are learning. This just came out of nowhere because of the whole situation with FFG and Foodie Beauty and him living in Buffalo, New York and all the threats that's been happening. So I just wanted to cover him. We'll get into all of that. We'll figure things out as we go along. But as of now, I think this is a good entry point. Well, whatever. Hey, Jenga. I'm just tired. I'm just tired of the, my life. True, RBF how could be. Been, how I've been dealt a crummy hand. Uh-huh. You know, like poker hands. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm hey, Clever Cape. It's like you almost, oh, get, you, you almost get that royal flush. You ever notice when you get that royal flush, you're like, <gasps> and then you're all pissed off that you didn't get that royal flush. Alright. So I feel the same way. Alright. But it's always it's always the, the you know, the royal flush never comes through. Uh huh. Yeah. So you know how I feel. So what's your point, Michael? The point is is that I just want a job, you know? And what do you want me to do about it? Yes, he is I liberal. I want you to correct all the stuff you you wronged me for. Too late, Michael. Sue me, cause it's a sue me. You know, I want to sue me. A lot of my a lot of my problems is that I I can't get a job because I don't have a car or I don't have a dr- uh-huh. driver's license because I can't get out to certain jobs. You know. Like I try to, I try, I can't. Even yes, you to, did, Tudor. You know, Fisher Price. Uh huh. Because I don't have a, a, a car. She has. Let's just go out there. She kind of guesses that she is being recorded because this is what he does. There's a lot of Mama Scrunch conversations, so she knows that. He, he's recording her because that's just literally what he does. Then he uploads it to his YouTube channel and it's all online. Okay. But I mean, it's all because of that cold Turkey movie. All right. Stop blaming cold Turkey. Sorry, but that movie's bad. Well, you're an idiot. I'm an idiot because that movie's bad. Yep. What does that mean? I don't know what you're doing, Michael. Yes, he no, did, Minamoto. What do you mean? I want a, I want a job. And I'm fed up. I'm fed up with, with, with this. I should, I should just retire right now. You got to have a job to retire from, Michael. Yeah. Huh? I'm... You don't understand how this makes me feel. Okay? You don't understand. You don't understand. I don't think you understand. I haven't to grungy. Okay. Okay? No, I understand. Because you were just handed jobs throughout your, your life. No, I wasn't. You know... Yeah, you were. You, you could get a job anywhere, you said. I know, right, Bunny Pop. True. You can walk into a hospital and get any job that day. Yep. Which makes no sense. The Cold Turkey movie is the movie his mom was watching instead of driving him to where he wanted to go. So now he's obviously pissed off because that Cold Turkey movie has ruined his life. Yeah. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I'm eating out of out of the dumpster. You're eating out of dumpsters because you want to. Yeah, that's true. I'm a, I'm cheap, okay. Uh huh. But I I can't take I can't stand this this, this this crap anymore. 
Everything in Buffalo is 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 out. It's just barely outside the uh, the bus route, so that black people can't can't get the, get a job there. It has nothing to do with you, though. I'm black. I get that makes every that, that has everything to do with me. Okay, and now I'm now I'm getting a headache, so I'm not really sure what you want. From me, but whatever it is, you better. I'm. You I'm. Better get your shit I got. Like I said, I'm fed up. I'm fed up with these. You know what? I don't know. It's not like you help me at all in my life anyway. Why? Start no, that's now? right. I don't do anything to help. Why start now, right? Folks, we're gonna end it there. Foodie Beauty is live. This was a great introduction. Catch you on the Foodie Beauty Live, folks. I'm heading. I'm start restarting my stream. We're going to watch Foodie Beauty right now. This is a perfect timing that we're halfway through this. The other half is going to be extremely good. Really, really good. Like, if you thought this was something, you haven't seen anything yet. Catch you on the Foodie Beauty Live. We are going to start it right now. So catch you in two to three minutes, folks. See ya. Bye-bye.